And yesterday, uh, one of uh, your sister from Supreme Master Television also asked me, <laughs> because she's afraid. She's living in Florida Center, and, and they scare her of the story of crocodile and snakes and all that stuff. Of course, when you live in, you know, in the countryside or far away from city, and where trees and grass grow a lot, then there are bound to be some creature like that. Yes. And she was so scared. <laughs> she had to go out, open door a little bit. <laughs> Sometimes she see the water hose outside look like snake, and then she, <laughs> she immediately closed the door. <laughs> Don't go out to group meditation. Next day, open door. Oh, it's only a hose, a water hose. <laughs> and she, she was scared, you know. I would, you know, I would maybe be scared also if people keep telling me all these <laughs> horrible tales. <laughs> Yeah, they have, they have crocodiles and snakes in Florida. You know that, right? Especially in the, uh, in the Everglades, yes. But in the center we have also, but I haven't seen them. So she asked me how I did it, you know, living in the jungle and in cave and all that. I said, I don't know, I just did. <laughs> Before I was also afraid, eh? I'm not telling you, I wasn't afraid. Younger time, you know. At night, they tell you all the story about tigers and ghosts and stuff. When you were young, you know, helpless. And then they put you in a dark room and lock the door. <laughs> Good night, baby. <laughs> Sweet dream. <laughs> and we had nightmare instead. <laughs> How can you have sweet dream after all these ghosts and demons and tiger and lion story, huh? And locked in, you know, closed in a small little dark room. Oh. So when I was young, I'm embarrassed to tell you, but when I was a little girl, I always loved to sleep under the neon lamp. Just under the lamp, I light anywhere, under, in the middle of a brightened room. You know, with light and people walking, talking, I don't care how many. I sleep very well right in the middle of it. <laughs> but whenever, you know, they shove me into a dark room, oh, then I begin to cry. I want to go back out and sleep in the middle of the room again, in the middle of the highway traffic. <laughs> I don't care where and how many people, as long as people are around and as long as there's a bright light all over, the room is bright then it's okay. Uh, but when I was uh, growing up, yeah, and uh, of course I was still scared, eh? Yes. Even after enlightenment, you know, your mind is still scared. It's not like you change it so fast. Yeah, but then you have to train yourself. Yes, train yourself. Concentrate on what you're doing. You just sit and meditate and recite the five names. Don't let any other thoughts come in. So even if the lion, the demon come, you don't even know it. <laughs> and if you die in that stage, well, good luck to you. <laughs> and you go to the high heaven when you so concentrate like that. Maybe, maybe the snakes and the crocodiles are there just to push you into this concentration. <laughs> like the bus driver, remember I told you the, 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 the story? Yeah. When the bus driver drives the bus, everybody prayed like <laughs> crazy. But when the priests uh, preach about God, everybody sleeps. <laughs> Not all priests, but just that one in the joke. <laughs> There's one priest, he used to preach long, long time, you know? And then, then suddenly he realized it, and he said, Oh my God, what time is it? I forgot my, my watch. Did I speak too long? I forgot my watch at home. So the congregation said, but there's a calendar behind you. <laughs> you understand? <laughs> How many days already? <laughs> they were good. They were good. I like that joke very much. <laughs> I told it all the time. 